All across the globe, there are legends to be told, stories to be shared with family and friends of epic quests to rid the world of the evils that plagued the land. Though through the dozens of mythological tales, none can compete with that of the true hero, the Kapildi Kid. His history is unknown, his moves are unmatched. All over the world, millions know by heart the incredible feats of the lone warrior and how his final battle ended his fate. But these are merely stories, are they not? No one has ever witnessed the Kapildi Kid's true power besides himself and those who are unfortunate enough to stand against him. Though many have believed that his ninja skills were pure fiction, his power is said to yet exist on this planet. Somewhere out there, the son of the Kapildi Kid lives among the rest of us. But will he ever discover his true abilities? Will the Kapildi Kid rise again? It's Dick Edlepeck. It's a stupid name. We should call you stupid name, boy. <laughs> Go pick on someone else, don't you, Shane? Let me get the class. Yes, stupid name, boy. Better not see you after the class. I will punch you. Okay, come on. Let's fight. I'll beat you up. Are <laughs> <laughs> you just a stupid name, boy? I'm the Wushi and I run wrong. I beat up kids and take their money. <laughs> <laughs> the joke's on you. I bring my own lunch. <laughs> now your sandwich is on the ground. You're just a stupid name boy. I love being a body. <laughs> Smack, what are you doing so late again? It's Dick Edlepet. Douchey beat me up and threw my sandwich on the ground. That's none of my concern, Dickle Smack. It's your job to get here on time. Not to boondoggle with all your friends. But Douchey isn't my friend. I said that's enough. Now get to reading! Did you get the homework yesterday? I thought you were on the it was Do Uche. He kept beating me up and mispronouncing my name. Don't worry about the homework, man. You can copy off mine. Really? Wow, thank you. Hey, don't sweat it. I think you and I can be good friends. I mean, you want to be my friend? Yeah, man, I'll be your friend. <laughs> Who would ever hang out with a stupid loser like you? You're so lame. Mom, I'm home. Dickopon! It's Dick Edlepack. Where have you been? It's two hours after school. I almost got on my chair to look for you. Sixteen and pregnant was on. Douchey threw me in the dumpster. I passed out as a garbage truck arrived and it took me to the dump. I had to walk all the way home from there, which was 12 miles. You kids and your crazy antics. You should stop hanging out with that kid. He's a bad influence. Think of what your father would say. But I don't even know my father. It's probably for the best. Who knows what would happen if you knew he was the good. What? It's nothing, son. Let's just say your father fought till the end. How did he die? Uh, strangle a chloris. Strangle a chloris? That's enough reminiscing. Go eat your dinner. But only the last hot pocket. I'm saving that for your birthday. But you don't even know my birthday. Yes, I do. It's May 14th. That's Mother's Day. It sure is. And don't forget it. Oh, 
I wish you were here, Dad. I don't know who you are, but I bet you're pretty cool. <sighs> Maybe if you were still alive, you could help me beat up Deushi. Or help me get to class on time. Or help me make a friend. <sighs> who am I kidding? I'll never be anything more than I am. Just a stupid name, boy. <sighs> Dad, wherever you are, I hope you're listening. I hope you can give me the strength to beat Deushi and finally be cool for once. That's all I want. That and a really sick tech deck. Why didn't the bus stop? I don't believe in buses. Reminds me of the war. Anyways, you need the exercise, so get a running. Where do you think you're going, you stupid name boy? I need to get to class. Let me go to school. I don't think so, Dick So Quack. I'm the body around here. And that means I pick on losers with stupid name like you. Ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> You think you may have beaten me, Dico Blast, but you haven't seen the blast of Douchi Bagu. How did I beat up Douche? I could never be that skilled in karate. And no one else can throw punch like that, except... What's this? What does this mean? How could I have the skills of the Capilli kid? Nick's little bitch! There's someone at the door! Go get it! <sighs> Go see who it is. Who could be out there at this hour? Alright.
I know who you are, Denzel Baxter. What? What are, what are you doing here? After being so punched, I realized who else could have performed such a legendary attack. What, what are you talking about? I know what I'm talking about. Don't lie to me. You're just scared, aren't you? Well, stop being scared. It's time to fight, just me and you. Okay, but before we do that, what's this guy's issue? What's your deal? He has respiratory problems. Time for you to pay for what you have done to me and he has done to my father. It's time for you to die! Mom! Mom, you saved me. <laughs> Don't expect too many more favors, because I'm going to be dead soon. And I'm losing a lot of blood right now. I honestly don't know where it's coming from. But mom, I can call the paramedics. <laughs> but it's much more dramatic for the scene if I die here. But, but mom. <laughs> no arguing, mister. Or you're grounded. Now listen up, because I'm about to lay some truth on you. What, what is it? Dick Solvage. Dick Ed Lepac. What, your what name, is it, what is this? Your name tag. What name tag? Ugh. Got it in the mirror. I don't. I don't understand. Oh, for Christ's sake! Look again. <gasps> that's right. You're the Capilde kid. At least the son of him. Now, are you ready to listen to some exposition? Sure, mom. Married your father years ago, when he was a hundred years old. He looked young for his age. I'm not gonna lie. He was the most awesome karate fighter that I knew. And then he was killed by his arch rival, a football player. That Asian guy, Doshe. He's somehow the son of that football guy. And now, it's up to you to make sure that I'm avenged. Can you at least do that for me? Uh, how can I? Jesus, can you let me finish? Your mother's dying. Don't interrupt. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Now go beat up that guy. Give me something to be proud of you for. It'll restore honor. What you do now is you go to where the building was trained and find the old wise man. He's somewhere in the mountains. You can't miss him. He'll train you. Now take this for good luck. It's your father's bandana. That's enough talking for me. I'm gonna die now. Don't leave me, please. You <laughs> gross. Can you go cry somewhere else, please? It's disgusting when it's next to my face. All right. Sorry. I think I'm gonna die now. But before I go, don't eat the last hot bucket. I'm saving it for your birthday. No. In Capildi's moment of great sadness, he had found inside himself a sense of hope he had never felt before. A hope that he could avenge his gender questionable mother. A hope that he could find the man that can train him and a hope that someone will finally be able to pronounce his name correctly. Will the Kapildi kid be reborn? Will Do Ushe be defeated? I don't know, I haven't written the script for the next part yet, but judging by how stories like this go, I'd say it's pretty likely.